Good evening, San Francisco. This is Central News checking in at 8 p.m. Today is October 20th, 1964. In tonight's special, we will revisit events from the past three months. On August 4th, 1964, we have been notified that two American destroyer ships, Maddox and the Turner Joy, have picked up radar, sonar, and radio, signal, radio signals that may indicate another attack by the North Vietnamese. As of now, the two ships have been firing at the radio targets for about an hour. The showdown comes in Southeast Asia, retaliating for North Vietnam firings on the U.S. destroyer Maddox and two days later on a sister ship patrolling the Gulf of Tonkin, America delivers a swift blow to the communist aggressor. From the aircraft carrier Ticonderoga and from the larger Constellation, planes fly 64 sorties against four North Vietnam PT bases and an important oil storage depot. That country's navy consists of about 50 patrol boats of various sizes, including converted junks. It was PT boats that fired on the American destroyers in international waters. The U.S. jet fighters and fighter bombers destroy or damage 25 of the aggressor boats and about 10% of North Vietnam's oil storage capacity. This has been the second incident the American ships have faced while patrolling the Gulf of Tonkin. As you know, the first incident took place two days ago and also involved the ship Maddox. In this instance, the Maddox was attacked by three North Vietnamese torpedo boats off the Gulf of Tonkin. Hey, dude. I wonder how far we can make it until they get angry and start firing at us. I don't know, man. Let's kick in the high again, find it. Captain! Huh? Put her in the high gear! Yeah. Sure. We got that ship in the distance! This should be fun. What is this? They think they so cool? No one trespasses on our watches? Open fire! Incoming torpedo! Captain, turn this thing around! <laughs> Look, Grant, there's, there's three now over there! I'm going Look to check on the captain! He's not turning us around! God damn it. In other news tonight, in UC Berkeley, there has been a riot, what some people are now calling the free speech movement. It started September 14th when Dean Catherine Tao announced that UC Berkeley would be enforcing its policy of no advocation for political causes, political candidates, recruitment of members, and fundraising with student organizations at the specific intersection of Bancroft and Telegraph Avenue. These streets were highly treasured locations for groups and clubs to solicit money. On October 1st, former graduate student Jack Weinberg was sitting at the core Congress of Racial Equality table to protest the uh, strict policy. After refusing to show his identification to the campus police, he was arrested. There was a spontaneous movement of students to, to surround the car in which he would be transported. They kept the car from moving and deflated the tires. Weinberg did not leave the car, nor did the car move for 32 hours. At one point, there may have been 3,000 students around the car. The car was used as a speaker's podium, and a continuous public discussion was held, which continued until the charges against Weinberg were dropped. Students may not exhibit their clubs at the intersection of Bancroft and Telegraph. Punishment will be suspension. Wait, why? That's CORE's main center of income. Well, how are we going to continue to support CORE if we lose our main supply? Why don't we just protest and continue to have our stand set up on that intersection? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You realize you're not allowed to endorse CORE here? You're going to have to see your campus ID. But I've already graduated. I don't have an ID. Sorry. You're going to have to come with me. Well, 
At this time, people like Mario Savio and Steve Weissman gave speeches on how people should have the freedom to express their opinion freely, especially in a learning environment such as a school. As more people came and the school and the police got involved, it was decided that Jack Weinberg could be let go, as well as the other students involved in organizing this demonstration. Looks like that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for watching.